Yuck. Hey there! Welcome back to Clark's Cozy Corner, and I'm your buddy, Miss Clark. Well, boys and girls, you already know what time it is. It's time for... <laughs> Look who's in the corner! Today's shout out goes to Nolan and Bryce from Girard, Ohio. Hi, Nolan. Hi, Bryce. Thank you so much for joining Clark's Cozy Corner and being a part of the Clark's Cozy Corner family. I'm so happy you're here. And Nolan, I heard that you have an awesome cool monkey named Ro that joins you when you read. How awesome is that? Happy to have you guys. Hope you're having a great day. Okay, friends. I have to say, and I don't think you can tell, but I am so extremely hot. Isn't it a sauna outside? I don't know about you, but I feel like when I shower, I get out of the shower and I feel like, ugh, I'm all icky and sticky again, and I feel I need to hop right back in the shower. I'm taking about 200 showers a day. <laughs> okay, I'm just joking, but two to three, the morning, the night, and when I feel super icky, I take a third one. Are you saying that I smell? It's not me, it's because it's super hot outside. And you know what I could use? I could use a nice, refreshing popsicle. Oh, just the sound of that is cooling me down. Do you want one? Okay, great. I know I have some Skittles popsicles in the refrigerator. Oh wait, you know what? I just remembered, I left a popsicle outside. Oh no. Do you know what, can you come with me to go outside to get this popsicle before it melts? You will? Okay, come on, let's go. Oh. Oh. We're a little too late, boys and girls. Look, it's melted. I only left it outside for a couple of minutes. I'm sorry, boys and girls. I know you were really looking forward to a popsicle. The sun is just that powerful. Come on, let's go back inside. Well, that was disappointing. I had my heart set on a popsicle. I can't believe Mr. Sun getting all hot like that. He knew I wanted to have my popsicle. Why does the sun have to get so hot anyway? Do you know? <laughs> I get it. You're disappointed just like me. You really wanted a popsicle. Well, guess what? <laughs> it's funny that we're talking about the sun because I have the perfect read aloud for today. Today's read aloud, boys and girls, is called <laughs> Angie Wonders, What is the Sun? And this book, boys and girls, is written by Renee Winters and it's illustrated by R. Sutra. So, if you have questions just like me, join me for today's read aloud. And I hope we can stay cool. <laughs> All right, come on. <laughs> Angie Wonders, What is the Sun? Written by Renee Winters, illustrated by R. Sutra, narrated by Miss Clark. Okay, boys and girls, let's go on an adventure with Angie and let's see if she's able to answer her questions about the sun. Angie is a smart girl who loves to laugh and play. She likes reading and dancing and dreams of being a scientist one day. Angie has brown curly hair and pretty brown skin too. She loves looking for adventures. She thinks they're cool. Boys and girls, I absolutely love that she wants to be a scientist. She could do anything she puts her mind to. Her adventures begin in the morning, from the moment she opens her eyes. She looks for things to discover, things to make her smile. Her question of the day started with the sun, as it peeked its way through the window to begin its morning fun. Why does it shine so brightly and warm up my skin? Is it like a light bulb that shines from within? Or is it like the moon that is brilliant in the night, making moths glow as they dance in its pale light. So Angie started her adventure to answer questions in her mind. She was so excited to discover what answers would she find. Finding answers could be work, but that's okay. With fearless determination, she began her day. <laughs> Boys and girls, look at her. She just wakes up with questions. I hope she finds all the answers she's looking for. Let's see. Searching books at the library and asking grown-ups. She knew the answers were sure to turn up. Questions and more questions until she was through. It's the only way to be a scientist. She knew this was true. 
After a day of discovery, Angie was done. All her questions were answered. It was time for fun. Where is she, boys and girls? Where is she looking for her answers? Yes, the library. She skipped in her yard, climbed a tree, sat on the porch, and ran from a bee. Angie finally sat down, as pooped as she could be, but she had all her answers, and she laughed with glee. Boys and girls, look how excited she is. Learning can be so much fun, especially when your questions are answered. What do you think? Have you ever set out on an adventure and had questions in your mind? Were you able to answer them? I sure hope so. The sun is a star, so bright and full. The earth is bound by its gravitational pull. The sun provides warmth and light that can't be outdone. This is our beautiful, hot, glowing sun. Like horses on a merry-go-round, the planets orbit this star. This is called a solar system. It's the coolest by far. Look, boys and girls. Do you see the sun? It's right smack dab in the middle. And yes, it is a star. Did you know that? <laughs> As she sat on the porch, the sun began to set. Angie had new questions, more discoveries to be met. After her bath, she snuggled so cozily in her bed. There were many more questions starting to dance in her head. Science and discovery are really, really fun. I cannot wait until I see the morning sun. <laughs> the end, boys and girls. And boys and girls, guess what? If you add this book to your home library, you're going to be able to check out Angie's activities. I hope you liked learning about the sun with Angie. How cool is the sun? Hey, I'm back. What did you think of this read aloud, boys and girls? Did you enjoy Angie Wonders? You know what I love about it? I love that when Angie woke up, her head was filled with questions and more questions and more questions. And that is what it takes, my little scientist. In order to be a great scientist, you have to ask questions. What is it that you're trying to figure out? In Angie's case, she wanted to know why the sun was so warm on her skin. And what did she do, boys and girls, with her question? Where did she go to find out? <laughs> yes, the library. The library is amazing and it's filled with books. And you never know if one of those books has an answer to your question. But you see, the answer's not just gonna fall from the sky. <laughs> no, you have to put in the work and whatever you're interested in finding out, search for the answers. I would love to know your new discoveries. So if you wanted to learn more about the sun, all you have to do is go to the library, turn on your computer, your iPad, maybe your phone. I know you have one. How about I share some interesting facts from the book about the sun? Are you ready? Let's see. Oh, I wonder if you knew this one. Did you know that the sun is really old and it's about 4.5 billion years old? <laughs> That's right, 4.5 billion years old. So if the sun was a person, I'm not sure if the sun would be walking around pretty good, if you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, here's another fact. Did you know that the sun was created with a cloud of dust and gas? <laughs> How cool is that? Here's another one. The temperature of the sun is about 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. That is hot. I'm sweating just thinking about it. <laughs> Can you imagine? We complain when it's 92 degrees. Can you imagine 10,000 degrees? <gasps> Get some water, quick. Okay, next fact. Did you know that some areas of the sun's surface are cooler than others? And those areas are usually darker. And those spots are called sunspots. Cool, right? No, 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 no. I'm not talking about like spots on a Dalmatian. Okay, two more facts. Did you know that the sun's light reaches Earth in approximately eight minutes? <laughs> 
that's less than the time it takes you to take a shower. <laughs> wow, I'm amazed. Alrighty, one more fact. And you're not gonna believe this one. Did you know that you can fit 1.3 million Earths inside of one sun? <laughs> That's right, 1.3 million Earths inside of one sun. I'm, I'm blown away and I can see your jaw has dropped. <laughs> you know, boys and girls, I'm having so much fun learning about the sun with you. I have an idea. Would you like to do a sun activity with me? But it requires us to go back outside. Do you mind? <laughs> okay, follow me, come on. <laughs> okay, what you're gonna need is construction paper. You're gonna need plastic wrap. It doesn't have to be glad. You're gonna need some rocks so that we can hold our project in place. And you can just go around your yard and find whatever you would want to make this art with. I found sticks, I found leaves, and I just found some flower petals. Okay, it's now time to pick a color. And you already know which one I'm picking. Yellow! First, we're gonna wanna take all the items that we found around the house. In my case, I use the leaf. I'm gonna place that down. I'm going to place a stick here. I think that'll look nice there. And I'm gonna place one here. I think that'll look great. And then I'm gonna place the flower petals down. How about one there and one there? Oh, I forgot one. <laughs> okay, perfect. The next step is to grab the plastic wrap. But be careful, boys and girls, because as you can see, there's a sharp edge here. So you might wanna need an adult helper for this one. Okay, pull just enough that's going to cover this entire construction paper. So, I'm gonna lay it down just like this, and then you're going to rip off the part that you don't need. But again, be careful. Okay, we're all covered. Is your construction paper covered? All sides? Okay, perfect. Now, take a rock and place it on each side just to keep the plastic in place. And again, if you're using rocks from your parents' garden, make sure you ask permission. Alrighty, one more to go. Perfect. Okay, the last step, and it's the most important step, is just to wait. We're gonna wait two to three hours. That's right, two to three hours. And we are going to see if this paper is faded. We're going to see if we're able to keep the color underneath each object. So make sure you place it in the sun. You could put it on the table or the sidewalk. <laughs> Alrighty friends, let's go back inside and then we'll check on it in two to three hours. Come on. Okay, let's check on our sun art. Let's remove the rocks, okay? Right, one rock, two rocks off, three rocks, and four. Okay. Let's remove the paper. Let's see if any of this area is shaded. <gasps> oh, I do see it. Okay. Let's see. <gasps> do you see it? Look. Let's see if you could spot where the sticks were. <laughs> Here there's a stick. That looks like it was a stick. Yeah, I can see my leaf and my flowers. <laughs> and look, even the rocks. <laughs> That's so cool. Do you realize, boys and girls, that wherever we had an object, the sun didn't fade that area of the construction paper. See the leaf shape and the sticks shape and even the rocks? Picture these areas being shade from the sun. That is exactly why, boys and girls, it is important to wear sunscreen. Because your skin is now protected from the sun's UV rays. <laughs> I wonder how your artwork looks. I wonder if your paper is even more faded than mine. I'm thinking that if I were to do this again, I probably should place it in a different spot. Maybe my area wasn't exposed to the sun as much as I thought it was, but I can still tell the results. <laughs> okay, let's go back inside. I hope you had fun. Well, that 
that was fun. Your artwork is going to look so amazing. Did you notice how the sun faded the paper and you were able to see the leaves, the flowers, and the sticks? That is exactly why you need to be wearing your sunscreen to stay protected. Okay, boys and girls, I had an amazing time learning about the sun with you, and I hope you had fun too. And just so you know, if you want to add Angie Wonders to your home library, please check out the description below. This is an amazing book by Renee Winters. And guess what? Inside, when you get this book, there's a spot that you can draw all your sun observations. How cool is that? You're gonna need space because you're a scientist. Okay friends, well I hope you have an amazing, extraordinary, phenomenal day. Do something to make someone smile today and in return, I hope they do the same for you. Okay friends, have a blessed day. Don't forget to smile, see ya. Hey, it's Miss Clark here. I'm so happy you were able to join us for Clark's Cozy Corner today. If you enjoyed yourself, do me a favor. Click that subscription button below and turn on the notification button. Why? Because I always want you to be able to join us and never miss a beat, okay? When's a good time to do it? Um, right now, I'll wait. Did you do it? I'm waiting. Click and turn on. <laughs> All right, awesome, thank you. See, wasn't that easy? Alrighty, see you tomorrow. Don't forget to. Smile!